In this video, we will convert between gallons and liters using unit fractions. In the first example, we're asked to convert 18 gallons to liters. The first step is to write 18 gallons as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction to convert 18 gallons to liters. To form the unit fraction, we use the conversion one gallon is approximately 3.785 liters. Because we want the units of gallons to simplify out, and right now we have gallons in the numerator. For the unit fraction, the gallons must be in the denominator and liters must be in the numerator. And now to form the unit fraction, since one gallon is approximately 3.785 liters, the unit fraction is 3.785 liters over one gallon. In this form, we have gallons divided by gallons and therefore gallons simplify out, leaving us with liters. And now we multiply knowing the units are liters. Notice how we have a denominator of one and therefore the product is just 18 times 3.785, which gives us a product of 68.13. So we have 68.13 liters, which means 18 gallons is approximately 68.13 liters. And now for the second conversion, we're asked to convert 120 liters to gallons. We begin by writing 120 liters as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now we multiply by a unit fraction. Because we want liters to simplify out, and right now we have liters in the numerator, we must have liters in the denominator of the unit fraction and gallons in the numerator. And again, because the conversion is one gallon is approximately 3.785 liters, the unit fraction is one gallon over 3.785 liters. Because we have liters divided by liters, liters simplify out, leaving us with gallons. So now we multiply and we know the units are gallons. Multiplying in the numerator, we have 120. Multiplying in the denominator, we have 3.785. To finish, we do have to find this quotient. And we are told to round to the hundredths place value or two decimal places. Looking at the third decimal place of the quotient, notice how we have a four, which means we round down. This rounds to 31.70, which gives us 31.70 gallons. So now we know that 120 liters is approximately 31.70 gallons. And it is important to leave the zero and the hundredths place value because this does indicate that we round into this place value. Without the zero, we may think we round into the tenths place value instead of the hundredths place value. I hope you found this helpful.